Hi everyone, Derek Latchett from E1 here with a brief tutorial about determining if an E1 pump will work for an application. Let's get started. When grinder pump stations are considered for a single property, we're often given some basic information about the application. Here's an example email. A home builder is building a home and it is too far away from the city sewer. This is actually really common. They know how far they are from the city sewer, 500 feet, and that there's an elevation change of 25 feet. They're wondering if an E1 grinder pump station would work for this property and wondering what pipe they should use. The great news is we can definitely help figure this out and I'm going to show you how to do it. But first, let's visualize the application. So from the email, we know that there's a home being built at, say, a bottom of the hill. And so we show our home here with the grinder pump station. From the email, it said that the discharge was a manhole. So I'm just kind of showing an image here of the manhole. And then from the email as well, we knew that the linear distance or the distance was 500 feet. And the elevation change was 25 feet. Now, I was assuming that that was a 25 foot elevation gain uh, in this case, uh, but it could have been an elevation uh, drop, uh, which is a slightly different application. So we're just talking about an elevation change in, in this case. OK, so that's what our system looks like. So how do we do it? You know, we can perform a variety of calculations by hand, but the, the great news is that we have a tool called the E1 Design Assistant that can be used for a single property like this or pressure sewer systems consisting of hundreds or even thousands of units. So with E1 Design Assistant, we are going to uh, determine the velocity uh, in the system. And, and really what we're going to be looking for is two feet per second or 0.6 meters per second. The design assistant is going to help us calculate that total dynamic head. And, and ultimately, uh, what we need to know is what the total dynamic head is in this in the system. And if the total dynamic head in the system is less than the pump capabilities, then the E1 pump is going to work. And all of this is also recommending a pipe size. So I'm going to jump over to design assistant. But if you don't have a design assistant, you can go to this web address or you can scan the QR code and it'll take you right to the place you need to be to download the software. So let's hop over to design assistant. And the first screen we see with design assistant uh, allows us to enter some project information. We're just going to call this our sample project. Um, I don't, I'm not going to put in any more detail here, but you can put in as much as you want. The most important thing from this first screen is that I select the correct unit of measure. Um, this project uh, giving us feet is going to be uh, US, uh, so we're going to select US, and then voltage frequency as well. Uh, in the US, it's going to be 60 hertz, but if you were in somewhere uh, like in Europe or Australia, New Zealand or something, you'd select 50 hertz. So from here, we are then going to go to the compass and the square which is the design information side. And from here, we are going to start inputting information about this project. So this is just a single unit. So there's going to be a single zone. So we'll just call this zone number one. And because it's only one zone, it connects to itself. That's how we tell the software that it's just discharging to itself. Number of pumps in the zone is also one. It's getting pretty easy here. A maximum flow rate per um, per pump, uh, you can put in whatever you like as long as it's within, within the capabilities of the E1 pump. Or if you hit tab in the software, it'll just input a default of 11 gallons per minute, which is about uh, halfway up or about the average uh, of the E1 pump's uh, flow rate. Gallons per day per dwelling, again, you can put in whatever you like. It's not particularly important uh, right here. There is a default that's shown up here in the toolbar of 200 gallons per day. I can put in whatever I like, or if I can hit tab again, and they'll put in that 200. Now zone length, this is where I start taking the information that was provided in that email. So I know my zone length is 500 feet. So I'm gonna input 500 there. My maximum main elevation, this is the top of that hill. Uh, and just for simplicity's sake, I'm just gonna put that the maximum main elevation is 25 feet. And the pump elevation and the minimum pump elevation is going to be zero feet. And that's how I'm going to show the software, basically tell the software that there's a 25 foot uh, elevation rise. So once I input all that information, I can click on the next tab, design page one. And this is uh, where the software performs a bunch of calculations in the background, but uh, ultimately um, calculating the velocity, the total dynamic head, 
and giving me a recommended pipe uh, size. Now, from a pipe size standpoint, the software does allow the user to select different pipe materials. So the one thing we didn't talk about with this home builder was what type of pipe they were using. Uh, this is showing velocity and total dynamic head for uh, SDR21 PVC. Uh, another common pipe that's used is SDR11 HTPE, and you can see uh, the pipe size likely isn't going to change, but the total dynamic head will probably change. Yes, so it changed to 34 feet instead of uh, 30, 30-ish 30 feet, uh, just because of the different internal dimensions of this, this pipe size. But from here, we can see that uh, we our answer would be, well, yes, uh, the total dynamic head uh, is 30, 35 uh, feet, which is within the capabilities of an E1 pump. It's less than 185 feet. And then we see that the maximum velocity in the pipe is um, is greater than two feet per second. So this is a suitable size. So uh, we can say that, yes, it'll work. And we're going to use inch and a quarter SDR21 pipe or inch and a quarter uh, SDR21 pipe and so on and so forth. So that's how we use Design Assistant, you know, and uh, hope that quick tutorial helps you out. If you've got more questions, uh, please feel free to uh, visit the E1 Sewer Systems Knowledge Center and uh, also check out E1's YouTube page for more tutorials, webinars, and all sorts of things that can hopefully help you out. Thanks.